Yeah, exactly, Poncho. She's supposedly Bismarck, and turns out she fails you at the most basic task, which is knowing who the fuck are your enemies. That's what a diplomat must do. Who are your enemies? Who are your allies? That's basic stuff. I'm guessing I need to bring this guy with me. Uh, look at this, it changed. Now he's back in the fold, it seems. And I hope, I truly hope that it doesn't turn out that her friend is actually under venatory influence and we're going to get fucked in the ass once more. If that happens, I lose all confidence in her abilities. All confidence. She doesn't even know who your friends are. Well, that... Uh, I don't even get me started. Alright, let's level up Barrick. Three points, isn't that great? Yeah, let's get him this. But what do we lose? Explosive shot, I'll say. Explosive shot goes. Although it is kind of useful, honestly. Uh. Or maybe this trap. I don't even know if the trap is... Okay, what do we lose? Explosive shot? I'm not sure. Leaping shot. She's good at getting gold. I'm better at getting gold. <laughs> 300 weapon damage, let's see. 300 weapon damage. Let's make the, the choice based on damage potential. 250 per hit. Now that's a big one. hundred thirty weapon damage this it's an AOE I, I don't know it sure sounds like an AOE to me yeah let's get rid of explosive shot then and allow him to use it Okay. Two more points. 
You throw an assortment of different traps in front of you, applying different elemental effects to enemies that come in range. Why do I feel that is not going to be enemies alone? Okay, you throw an assortment of different traps in front of you, applying different elemental effects. You know what, let's get this and this. Uh, better criticals for everyone, and I'll give this one a try. Let's switch this one here. Give that one a try and see how how it works out. The elemental mines. Let's see if they hit me. I am in interested in knowing that. And he cannot use stealth. Stealth is for me alone. All right, great. Nice. Nah, whatever. Not going to waste my precious. Herbs on the secondary companions. If I see those mines doing, uh, Do you know? Well, I didn't see any damage, and it turns out she does help quite a bit. Nice. All right, then I'll let my my character use uh, fade blade. It seems to work out fairly well. I should give her a preferred ability now. Offensive ability. Uh, let's go with a static cage. Yeah. I will continue micromanaging the tank. Because that is definitely... Easier to micromanage that than uh, not a mage. I 
I could never be as efficient as the as the AI in at aiming those spells. Impossible. Hello, Carlo. Ah, this is easy. All right. Then we should be gone in no time. Finally, I started to think you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for her to start talking to us. Well, apparently she knows anything that Barrick does. How did you find this operation in the first place? There must be hundreds of Deep Roads entrances. I've used this entrance in the past. Varric's not the only surface dwarf to explore the deep roads. Oh, I've got to admit, I was pretty surprised when I came here and found it full of humans. <laughs> Why would the containers need to be protected? Uh, I know that. Delirium is incredibly dangerous in its raw form. It can poison or kill dwarves, and we're resistant to it. Sometimes it just explodes. No warning. Basically, only crazy people mine Lyrium. The mining cast doesn't just sling it into a bucket. It's carried in special containers that keep it under control. And that's normal Lyrium. The red stuff is worse. I wouldn't be surprised if most of their miners die just digging it up. Let's see if that is the case. Barrick told her, that's my bet. You seem to know more about the effects of red Lyrium than most. Varric needed a save for his shard. I'm the one who built it for him. I knew it. We'd better get to work. Sounds good to me. All right. <laughs> Apparently, Sol, Solas was traversing the fade <laughs> while we were chatting. Holy shit! Ah. Well, I have to thank Ur for telling me about that fade shield stuff. That will definitely make my life easier. What exactly is this locked door? 
gonna be out there. Yeah, Lily Levin is nothing. Oh, easily. You had me worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I'd heard from you since the Chantry explosion. Had it been that long? Seriously, if you died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd been cremated? Kick your ashes, of course. <laughs> or be on them. I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> You've been here often enough to renovate the cave. You already know I've used this entrance in the past. I don't know if Eric's told you, but the Merchant's Guild is cutthroat. Literally. I built the doors to keep rivals from following me down here and arranging accidents. What? Chilled this place? I didn't know that. That is... Mm, well, now that I know she... She actually knew... It's not that handy. I thought she... She just had a skill at opening locks. It turns out she built the door, so... It, this is the truth. Admit it. You've been waiting to do that since we arrived. <laughs> of course I was. After you. All right. What the hell? right now selling my machine to wealthy landowners I heard some of the guild were trying to get you named a paragon for that contraption that's not gonna happen even if I am ten times the Smith Bronca ever was a surfacer paragon never what do you know that's a tough thing to or not say a boast a difficult boast to live up to Branca what the hell happened to Branca? Actually, Branca should be making golems left and right. I haven't seen a single golem. Okay, I see archers and mages. Isn't that great? almost fun. Kind of like old times. I don't recall us ever shooting people together. Remember crashing Bartram's guild dinner? We might as well have shot him. This isn't nearly as dangerous as pissing off my brother. Well, other than Barry getting fucking cremated. I think it's a bad idea to let them attack first, you know? What? Ah, shit. Was a... Uh, one of the... 
actual good potions then now. I thought I never gave him one of those. There you are. You won't be able to use this entrance again. Bianca. What? But apparently he knows something here. You want to say something, Varric? I'm Draste's ass, Bianca. You're the leak? When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the Red Lyrium, and I... studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You've had people studying it for years now, and they've come up with nothing. I just... wanted to figure it out. How did you go from studying Red Lyrium to giving the location to Corypheus? I found out that Red Lyrium... It has the Blight, Varric. Do you know what that means? What? The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive. Or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals. Only animals. Huh. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden Mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this woman, Jonica. Huh. She seemed really eager to help with my research. So I gave her a key. Janica? The warden who was trying to control Corypheus? Maker's breath. I knew something seemed off. I didn't realize until you said you found Red Lyrium at Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. What? What? <laughs> Holy fuck. Janica is not Corypheus, then what the hell happened? I was certain that, that that's how Corypheus survived, because he possessed Janica. Turns out it isn't, or that's how it seems. How the hell? That name means something to you, Varric? She was at the Grey Warden prison where we found Corypheus. She was more than a little obsessed with him. You had to know we'd figure out what happened, Bianca. Why did you insist on coming with us? Varric told me what people were doing with the Red Lyrium. I had to help make this right. Mm, I don't know. Is it her fault? Apparently, apparently, Mar Barrick didn't mention Janica on the, on the... <laughs> yeah, Commander. Well, <laughs> well, I don't know if she betrayed Barrick, honestly. It seems like Barrick didn't tell her about Janica. And she did find something interesting. That's the first time I've I've heard out Lyrium having the blight. That's news to me. And it being a, some sort of animal, a strange animal. With a deep connection to the fade, I'm assuming. Maybe that's how it works. In all honesty, I cannot fault her. She had good intentions and she's trying to make up for her mistakes. Unlike some other people. And that also explains why Corypheus can, can control the Red Templars. Because if, if he's an Arxpon with some sort of thrall on Red Lyrium, 
because it has their light and the Red Templars drink the Red Lyrium. It all makes sense now. You couldn't have known what would happen. Maferath's balls, she couldn't. I told her exactly how bad this shit was. I told her to keep away from it. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. It's as right as I can make it. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself, telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. <laughs> Get that room. <laughs> You know what? Let's not get in this spot with lovers. I already made my, my position clear. As far as I can tell, Barrick warned her about Red Lirium and not out Janik. On the other hand, if she knew what Janik and still gave her red lirium, that would be the most stupid thing ever. Oh, for pity's sake, would you two just get a room? Sorry, Inquisitor. We've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. Get him killed? And I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor. <laughs> That's not how it was supposed to end. With threats on my life? Should have killed her then. Fucking dwarf. I stand up for her. Speak to Arik about all this. Can I speak to him now? And let's travel back to... To... Skyhold. We need to go out. Ah, fuck. Manually. Send that great. I agree, Lady Paper. This is all the fault of, in all honesty, Hawk. Not, not so much his gang as Hawk, uh, because it was Hawk that that decides in the end to to free Corifio so they can leave the the warden prison. It was only Hawk that could lift the seals. And it was Hawk that couldn't take a little bit of... Uh, of what? Pressure from the Carta. And decided to, to go back... Not to go and search for the Binmar Fortress. Give me a second, please.
Yeah, people that uh, help talk always, always what? Followed her orders to the letter. Alright, see you, Pancho. A good Sunday, isn't it? And that's why I also left Hawk in the fade. This is all the, the fault of Hawk. So she had to give her life to save us. To make up for it. Or that, that's what I think. That's where I, why I left her tonight. Or who knows, maybe the divine will save her. Who the hell knows? Guilty by association. <laughs> no, no lady. They were just following a good friend. To hell and back. Talk to Arik, wasn't it? Yes, talk to Arik. I'm glad to have answers, but... Shit. The second she showed up here, I knew. I just... I let this mess happen. I gave her the tag. I am not good at dealing with shit like this. You managed to talk your way out of most things. That's what I do, isn't it? If Cassandra hadn't dragged me here, I'd be in Kirkwall right now, pretending none of this was happening. Would he? I don't know. Okay, Poncho, have a good, a good, a good Monday then. <laughs> See you next week. Or in your case, this week. Later this week. I don't think he would. He would. Because he has gone well beyond the call of duty. To study Red Lyrium. To protect uh, those secrets. Yeah. He could have fled a lot of times now. He chose to join the Inquisition voluntarily. You know that's not true. You've worked as hard as any of us to stop Corypheus. Is that true? I don't even know anymore. Thank you. For your help back there. After all this, do you think you'll see Bianca again? I always do. Alright, another quest done. Okay, level up. I don't think anyone has finished their worship. Their assignments here. Let's check. Let's see if Josephine has failed miserably, and I can kick kick her down the curb. Now uh, everyone is still working. <laughs> yeah, Barry killed Bartrand and took the Red Lyrium in Dragon Age 2. Okay, so what now? What now? Well, you know what, actually... <laughs> oh, this is so bad. This is so fucking bad. <laughs> I 
<laughs> now that she's going to use this stupid fucking attack, then Stacy's lock actually works. Ah, this is so stupid. But I need to lose one of my other abilities. What ability should I lose? Uh, I cannot lose Fate Step. Or can I? Shit. Mind Blast? No. Yeah, this is actually useful now. <laughs> but I, I don't have anything to lose. The light, no barrier, no fate step, no. Dispel. I could use, lose this spell, but I prefer not to. Revival, no, mine. <laughs> Shit. No, I. <laughs> then let's get passives because that's all I can, honestly. Let's rack up the passives and keep keep going that way. Successful performing analytic combo earns additional focus. That truly doesn't do much for me. So, let's get her this energy barrage, so I can get these two, these two passives. Eventually, in the far future. Yeah, I cannot uh, get rid of any of those abilities. Although Fate Step, do I need Fate Step with her? Now that she's a melee, a melee... I don't know. Will I need her to run away fast? It is entirely possible I will at some point. Or does Fate Step no longer serve my purposes? with her we could argue the same about mind blast to some degree
Let me check. Enemies larger than the field are immune. Well, that field is really small. I would say, for example, a pride demon wouldn't get affected. Nah, then let's forget that. If an image is larger than the fin are immune, it's too limited to be of use. Let's get this and then head for these two passives. Alright, how are we in the inventory? Half the inventory is full. Let's select another quest then. And do it. Okay, I'm not going to do that, nor that. At the trout farm. Crestwood. Okay, I know why I don't go there. There is a dragon. Cremate the bodies. I won't do that. Fucking humans. Rift. 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 And uh, now I'm sure. Okay, we could go to the Emerald Graves to see rifts for sure. Kill dragons, fate drifts, doing things for humans, all right, drifts, I can do that, won't do that, nor that. I won't do any of this. Tomb of Hen Feriel. Enter the tomb, I don't even know where it is. Rifts, rifts, rifts. A better courtier, okay, I can do one of these. Let's go and upgrade the courtier. Return to Frederick. Alright, I'll do those quests and then... Ha! Huh, Josephine is ready to report! Let's see! Let's find out if she failed miserably. That way I can do her quest or not. Aha! I fucking knew it. Inquisitor, the fighting was hard, but the Grey Wardens protected us from the demons until Baroness Natal's siege equipment arrived. We led siege to the fortress and killed both the Lady eh, Marquis Buffon and Lady Gasp, with minimal losses on our side. I regret to inform you that after recent actions, the Grey Wardens have suffered too many losses to have any further assistance. The last warriors died fighting the Inquisition in good faith. I've sent their personal effects to Weishaupt. Ah, did she fail or did she not? That is the question to ask. Did she fail or did she not? How is Baron Edward? 
Cold, I imagine. Why? If the Red Lyrium continues to grow, the cold will be the least of his problems. Okay, let's send her to this. You know what? Let's look at uh, Cole's mission. Regardless of where Cole is a demon or a spirit, he remains vulnerable to the Venatori Binding Magic. The Amulet of the Unbound, used by remaining seers, is said to protect the spirits from such magic. However, finding such an amulet is difficult. Depends on how good the, the, the weapon is. My Reini contacts say these amulets are hell dear, but to protect the spirits from the rich, they are willing to help us. I know of a wealthy original whose private collection includes jewelry from all other titles. I thought he would miss one piece. <laughs> ah, let's send her. At your service. Ah, look at that. <laughs> the wardens are useless. <laughs> She, yeah, she failed, but not horribly. Mm. Let's look at the weapon then. She lost us the... The, the... Wardens. A unique axe. Well, it is unique. Briefly during the Glory Age, the Nahashi marshes were a kingdom under Lord Rook Marchet, who declared that Balroyor rule, always tentative at best, was over. While Orle warred with the elves, the marshes were left alone. But once attention turned to putting down the rebellion, Forez were had put even to find their opponents. King Ru is a legend among the marsh folk who portray him wielding a mighty axe against an Orlesian knight. It is a good sword. A deep <laughs> Okay, let's see if that sword is... No, that sword, that axe. Well, that's a very good axe. Is this a dagger? Yeah. No one well, let's send it. Nine magic. can get rid of this right now. That is a good sword. <laughs> Let's see what the... Okay, you know what? The Lian is ready to report. Let me see if Colin will report as well. Ah, let's do it now. Okay, I, ha I have been a beast. I am not, I am not as angry as I were. So let's help her anyway. Yeah, lady, exactly. I see a passing grade. A clear idea in theory. We lost soldiers to sandstorm and joining pits of death, but the local wildlife is safe, and that's what's important, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, that is what's important.
All right. Let's look at this one. A letter on dark vellum with oil development markings. A hole in the surface of precious sky, not our concern. But the thing that did it, if this magister shit really or not the light and the dark spawn, we are no friend of that. Follow these instructions and you'll catch your enemy sleeping. Tell your soldiers not to leave the main tunnel. That's your only warning. Vincius World Helm of Cal Shadok. The letter ends with a map to a cave system and a number of troops to come pass. They hold their secrets dear, do as they say, no more, no less. Potential relations with oh, an Erdwurman type would be far more beneficial than a minor strike at the Venatori. At least send ambassadors with our soldiers. They can have their secrecy, but we don't know the threat on the other side of their passage. I'll send all that to even a. Th I'll send all that to even a threat of Venatori. What can I tell you? I think rather than sending ambassadors what could gain us some prestige with these dwarves is do is keeping our word I would say they are often as help free of charge if we do what they say I think we will gain yeah some respect from them As they appear not even, not even to be willing to talk to Orsamar dwarves. So let's do as Liliana recommends. Inquisitor. So yeah, let's help Josephine. Although I cannot, apparently, at this point, I need I need to send someone to that mission. I don't even know what mission it is. So I guess it's time to travel to Balroyo. Or should I close rifts? Should I fight or should I proceed with the main story? What what do you think? Six strength. Iron bull only. It looks like uh, the good guys from uh, from what the fifth element. Let my enemy see me on the battlefield. Let the dread seep into their bones, knowing their end is nigh. For at this moment I am not a man, I am a force of nature and the bringer of death. You know what? It's not good enough. Wait. 
Well, I actually have better. 500. Okay. Send that one. Belt of Health, Spirit Resistance. Upgrades. Farm Round Pommel, goodbye. So let's sell all that. I'm thinking. Only saying cunning, huh? Okay, so this is a very good one, actually. <whistles> 14 constitution versus 14 strength, but on hit 10% chance to apply poison. That is a good, a good bonus. And I can still give her a bunch of strength. What? Ah, shit. It's a haft. So I need to make a haft. Okay, let's produce a haft. I doubt very much this is going to help. It's only two. This is seven utility. <laughs> Impossible. Now impossible. So it's actually a piece of shit. So we're not helping Josephine. That quest is done. She can wallow. Well, her family's name is dragged in the mud. And think on what made her lose the confidence of the Inquisitor. Yeah, there is no way I can give up 14 constitution. Let's see, let's see if... Let's see. Give me a second, because I, I can still give it to someone else. Mm. What? What 
the hell did I gain those values? Ah, maybe now you can't sell them. But I only realized it was a stupid thing. How much is 14 constitution? HP wise. One thousand Okay. One thousand eleven seventy three, let's say. Eleven seventy That's ten percent of my health, more or less. Well, yeah, eleven seventy-three. So it's a hundred and something. It's ten percent of the health I would be losing. That is a lot. Well, I could. I could yeah I could make up for it with one of these but not much let me check quickly Yeah, for constitution. And more damage. Nah, it is a worthwhile trade-off. I think. In the end it is. So I will help Josephine once again. It's not so horrible. Not not really. Okay. Armor penetration, stagger on hit. Attack eleven everite. Alright. Fifty-five. Eleven attack. So ever I twins. That's not so horrible. See
Yeah, in the end, it's not not that much of a big loss. I could even give her the same cunning, but that cunning is range defense, isn't it? Range defense and critical chance. Prefer more attack. Okay, so how do we give that sword to? Obviously, the first choice is. Uh, Black. How the hell? Ah, okay. Masterwork 100 half. Shit. Isn't this great? They all, both of them have. have. Uh... Okay. I just made a big mistake to some degree. Okay, both of them have. Um, axes, don't they? Let's take a good look at this. Ten wheel power. All right. Well, that is good. Six constitution. Not so bad. Yeah, not as good as ten wheel power, for sure. Yeah, ten wheel power is a good, a good, good thing. Let's get 10 willpower to this. It will certainly soften the heat with more magic resistance. Or elemental resistance. Nine constitution base, okay, let me check. So let's give this to Cassandra. And this to lack will definitely. And Iron Bull gets whatever is left. The inscribed hatchet. And this goes to the junk pile. Great. So I'm conning for constitution 11 attack, 6 constitution. Hmm. Now let's, let's use the one I crafted. 
as shitty as it is. Nah, not really. It's real. It's shit. I shouldn't have crafted it. Let's sell that as well. That was a waste of resources. Alright. Send this great. So, what do we have to do now? Find a way to meet Belize. Rifts, rifts everywhere. Alright, let's go and deal with your lesions. Something else I'm horribly overpowered for. Give me a second, please. 